Greetings everyone. Banu Patra brings to you the news highlights of 9th January 2023. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has held that writ petitions can be entertained to examine whether the conditions for the issuance of notice under section 148 of the Income Tax Act have been satisfied. The court while giving clarifications regarding how vacancies in high courts must be categorized when a judge is transferred from another high court has stated that the said judge does not go to the transferred high court with the label of a bar judge or a service judge. The Supreme Court while hearing plea regarding road safety through electronic monitoring has directed that a meeting to be convened by a chairperson of Supreme Court Committee on Road Safety to set out an agreed formulation of modalities for implementing provisions of section 136A of the Motor Vehicles Act. The Supreme Court while hearing a plea filed by ML Sharma against Anna Hazare for withdrawing money from government and using it for himself has directed central government to formulate a comprehensive legislative or administrative scheme regarding the regulation of funds which come to ngos the supreme court has transferred to itself all petitions seeking recognition of same sex marriages in india and also granted liberty to petitioners to appear on virtual platform and advance their submissions news highlights from the high court starting with the delhi high court the delhi high court has held that applicability of section 12 sub clause 5 of arbitration and conciliation act can only be waived off by an express agreement and not by mere participation of parties in the arbitration proceedings the high court while observing that although criminal courts are duty bound to consider rights of victim they cannot overlook the rights of an accused or a convict and has advised trial court judges to show sensitivity in cases where accused persons are languishing in jails as under trials the high court while acquitting a man as the trial was vitiated due to non assistance of accused by legal aid counsel has observed that it is a classic case where canons of justice were kept aside by trial court as the accused was not provided any effective legal aid The High Court has upheld the constitutional validity of Section 92 sub clause I of Air Force Act 1950 which allows deduction from the pay and allowance of Air Force personnel for maintenance of their wife and children. News highlights from Kerala High Court. The Kerala High Court while observing that circulars or clarifications issued by the central government represent merely their understanding of the statutory provision has held that they are not binding upon the court. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.